Hi everybody, welcome back to my studio. Miss Suzanne, teaching artist with Flushing Town Hall, back on day five of Global Arts for Global Kids. I have a new artist with a new project for our mini art museum. The name of this artist is Alexander Calder. He was born in 1898, so a really long time ago, and died sometime around 1976. Very famous for doing sculptures, but not sculptures that you normally would think of, like with clay. His sculptures involved a really cool vocabulary word, kinetic, and I'll talk about kinetic in a second. These are some of his sculptures. Can you guess what that might be? You're correct, a face. But the material is what's very interesting. He was very, very known for um, sculptures that had to do with balance. And these are more of the sculptures that I would like for you guys to try to create. If you look real closely, you'll see a bunch of different faces, silly ones too. And they are actually made from wire. Now you might not have any wire at home, so if you don't, that's okay. We have another kind of material that I will suggest for you to use. This can be a little dangerous too, because it's got all the little, you know, ends that are sharp. I do want to show you that I made my own little calder. Let's see if you can see it. I'll put it up like this. Add a wire. Can you see that? And it's balancing on this little wire part. And I think you can see the face in there with the hair. Kind of cool, right? Now, if you don't have wire and you want to create some sort of structure, there, you can always use these. These are known as pipe cleaners. So you either have pipe cleaners or they also are known as chenille. And they're fun to use, they're very easy. And I don't know if you know it, but there is a wire inside. So if you do have any of these, or if you go to like a 99 cent store, you should get a whole package for like a dollar, I think. And Part of what he is known for in his sculptures is creating things that hang, okay? And the kinetic word that I was talking about for the vocabulary is also has to do with balance. So if I had a sculpture that I was creating really quickly with the chenille, I would have balance. So if I was to put something heavy over on this side, like the wire, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, it went down. So my balance is off. So think about um, balance in life. If you stand on one foot, do you have balance? And I'll talk about that in a second. So I'm going to um, also bring you back into my studio from above so that I can show you how to create your own portrait. Again, it could be yourself. It could be in the style of Calder. Portraits can be all different kinds of material. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. This is the view from above for the uh, Calder. Um, I'm going to speed it up again so that I can show you a couple different ways. I brought in a hanger because I think everybody's got a hanger, right? Perfect way to make a mobile, absolutely perfect. So before we dive into doing a face and sculpture, I thought it'd be really cool just to do a fast version of a mobile hanging in the uh, Calder style. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward here.
yes, I did trick you again with that fast forward. But in essence, it would have taken a really long time to show you how to make the wire uh, faces, the portraits. So you saw me make them. Hopefully you can see them hanging very in the Calder style. So I have them on this. It's actually like a paintbrush that I put the chenille, the um, pipe cleaner, and I made a little uh, thing on top to hang it. And I don't know if you can see the faces. They're very cool. One's got sunglasses. And of course, yours have to be smaller for your mini art museum, all right? But this is a fun project for you also to know. My mini art museum face, Let's see if I can put it up closer and show you. That is my mini, it's so cute. And that is the one that's gonna hang inside. So um, you'll need little fingers to make that. Anyway, it's been such a delight. Uh, thank you coming back to my art studio with Flushing Town Hall, Global Arts for Global Kids. And uh, you'll see the lesson plan at the end of this. And we'll meet again so we can put everything together in our mini art museum. All right. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.